Welcome to vSkills, YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn about the top interview questions for DevOps. So, let's get started. Question number one, what are the core operations of DevOps? The answer is, the core operations of the DevOps area are as follows. Application development. Code developing. Code coverage. Unit testing. Packaging. Deployment with infrastructure. Provisioning. Configuration. Orchestration and deployment. Question number two, what is Jenkins? The answer is, Jenkins is an open source automation tool written in Java with plugins built for continuous integration purposes. Jenkins is used to building and testing your software projects continuously making it easier for developers to integrate changes to the project, and making it easier for users to obtain a fresh build. Question number three, what is DevOps and how it works? The answer is, DevOps is the practice of operations and development engineers participating together in the entire service life cycle, from design through the development process to production support. DevOps is also characterized by operations staff making use of many of the same techniques as developers for their systems work. Question number four, what is the difference between Docker and Jenkins? The answer is, Jenkins and Docker complement each other in different ways. For any project, you would need a deployment pipeline to automate the deployment. Jenkins takes care of continuous integration and continuous deployment of software artifacts. Docker is a container engine that holds your application. Jenkins can also build Docker images based on a Docker file. You can use the Docker plugin for Jenkins to build the containers. Question number five, what is the purpose of Docker? The answer is, Docker is a lightweight application engine that deploys VM-like containers. It shares system-level resources to allow easy deployment and multi-tenancy. But it has its network and process space, as well as a layered union mount file system. It's all written in Go. Question number 6, what are the components of Docker? The answer is, there are three main components of Docker. First, Docker client. Second, Docker daemon or server, REST API. Third, Docker containers. Question number 7. What do you mean by continuous testing? The answer is, to obtain instant feedback on the business risks associated with the latest build, continuous testing is the procedure of executing automated tests as part of the software delivery pipeline. Question number eight, why Docker is a winner versus VMs? The answer is, the reasons behind this are, Docker containers take milliseconds to start, VMs take minutes. You can run hundreds or thousands of containers on a single laptop but you can't run a fraction of that of VMs because they are much heavier weight. Docker containers are also favorite lightweight packaging format, where developers can package their apps in containers that are easily published and consumed by others. Question number nine, what are some of the key benefits of DevOps? The answer is, some of the benefits of DevOps are, ensure faster deployment, stabilize work environment, meaningful improvement in product quality, Automation in repetitive tasks leaves more room for innovation. Advances agility in your business. Fast and good problem-solving techniques. And minimal cost of production. Question number 10. How does DevOps technically benefits a company? The answer is, some of the benefits of DevOps are. First, less complex problems to fix. Second, continuous software delivery. Third, faster bugs resolution. Question number 11. What are the core operations of DevOps with infrastructure? The answer is, the core operations of DevOps are application development, code developing, code coverage, unit testing, packaging, deployment with infrastructure, provisioning, configuration, orchestration, and deployment. Question number 12, what is Puppet? The answer is, Puppet is an open source software configuration management and deployment tool. It's most commonly used on Linux and Windows to pull the strings on multiple application servers at once. Question number 13. Why do open source tools boost DevOps? The answer is. Open source tools are essentially used by any organization which is accommodated by the DevOps pipeline because DevOps came with the focus of automation in different aspects of organization build, change management release, and infrastructure management areas. Question number 14. What is the use of SSH? The answer is, SSH stands for Secure Shell and is an administrative protocol that lets users have access and control the remote servers over the internet to work using the command line. 
SSH is a secured encrypted version of the previously known Telnet which was unencrypted and not secure. This ensured that the communication with the remote server occurs in an encrypted form. Question number 15. What is component-based development? The answer is. Component-based development is a unique way to approach product development. In this method, developers always look for existing well-defined, tested, and verified components to compose and assemble them into a product instead of developing from scratch. Question number 16. What do you understand by the DevOps pipeline? The answer is. A pipeline in the software engineering team is a set of automated processes which allows DevOps professionals and developers to reliably and efficiently compile, build, and deploy their code to their production compute platforms. Question number 17. What do you mean by DevOps automation? The answer is. Automation is the crucial need for DevOps practices, and automating everything is the fundamental principle of DevOps. Automation kickstarts from the code generation on the developer's machine, until the code is pushed to the code, to monitor the application and system in the production. Question number 18. What is the role of AWS in DevOps? The answer is. AWS is a cloud-based service provided by Amazon that ensures scalability through unlimited computing power and storage. It empowers IT enterprises to develop and deliver experienced products and deploy applications on the cloud. Question number 19. What is configuration management? The answer is. Configuration management is a practice of systematic handling of the changes in such a way that system does not lose its integrity over a period of time. This involves certain policies, techniques, procedures, and tools for evaluating change proposals, managing them, and tracking their progress along with maintaining appropriate documentation for the same. Question number 20. What is continuous integration? The answer is. Continuous integration is a software development practice that makes sure developers integrate their code into a shared repository as and when they are done working on the feature. Each integration is verified by means of an automated build process that allows teams to detect problems in their code at a very early stage rather than finding them after the deployment. Question number 21. What is version control? The answer is. It is a system that records the changes to a file or set of files over time so you can recall specific versions. The version control system consists of a central shared repository where teammates can commit the changes to a file or set of files. It allows to revert the file to the previous state, to compare changes over time, to revert the entire project to a previous state, to see who modified something in the files. Question number 22. How does Ansible work in DevOps? The answer is, it is a DevOps open source automation tool that helps in modernizing the development and deployment process of applications in a faster manner. It has gained popularity due to simplicity in understanding, using, and adopting it which largely helped people across the globe to work in a collaborative manner. Question number 23, what is pair programming in DevOps? The answer is, pair programming is an engineering practice of extreme programming rules. In this case, Two programmers work on the same system on the same design or algorithm. For example one programmer act as a driver and the other as an observer who continuously monitors the progress of a project to identify problems. The roles can be reversed at any point of time without any prior intimation. Question number 24. What are containers? The answer is. Containers are a form of lightweight virtualization, heavier than crude while lighter than hypervisors. They provide isolation among processes. Question number 25, what is a Git? The answer is, a Git is a distributed version control system. It can track changes to a file and allows you to respond back to any particular change. Question number 26, why do we need a continuous integration of dev and testing? The answer is, continuous testing is key to unlocking this culture change because it weaves testing activities into every part of the software design, development and deployment processes, which helps everyone involved communicate more, collaborate better, and innovate faster. Question number 27, what is the dog pile effect? The answer is, it is also referred to as cache stampede which can occur when huge parallel computing systems employing caching strategies are subjected to very high load. It is referred to as that event that occurs when the cache expires, or is invalidated, and multiple requests are hit to the website at the same time. Question number 28. What do you understand by post-mortem meetings? The answer is. 
Post-mortem meetings are those that are arranged to discuss if certain things go wrong while implementing the DevOps methodology. When this meeting is conducted, it is expected that the team has to arrive at steps that need to be taken in order to avoid failures in the future. Question number 29, how can you ensure a script runs every time the repository gets new commits through git push? The answer is, there are three means of setting up a script on the destination repository to get executed depending on when the script has to be triggered exactly. These means are called hooks and they are of three types. First, pre-receive hook. Second, update hook. Third, post-receive hook. Question number 30, what is two-factor authentication? The answer is, two-factor authentication is a security process in which two means of identification are provided by the two users from separate categories of credentials. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.